Rebecca for Waffle TV and I'm here with two of the wonderfully talented members of Fork, which is a very unique singing group. Do you want to tell us a bit about it? Well, it's very different. Yeah, it's very different. It's, yeah, it's we're kind of, it's, it's, uh, we're a singing group like any other, we're just four singers, but, but we do use uh, very much technique, different kind of loops and, and uh, Basically, you could say it's, I mean, that we are kind of the guitars, and then we have a fifth member who's the amplifier and makes the makes a lot of different noises with the stuff that comes out from our mouths. So that's what makes it different. And you shows on at the Assembly George Square every night until the 26th. How are you finding it so far? Is it going well? It's going well. We have we have a good crowd there, and people are happy, and we are happy, and yeah. But it's a familiar place just because we were here last year yeah. in other place, but then we knew that we go before. Yeah, it's great. It's How a good are you part. finding it compared to last year? Well, yeah. the tent is more. Uh, it's a better place to party, basically. I mean, we, the we did a theater scene last year, and 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 the production was uh, a bit more sophisticated. But now we wanted to come and and do what we actually maybe like to do a little bit more, you know, just have it's a big been party. It's described as a, a lot more stripped down than yeah, last year. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's darker and, and clubbier and... and, uh, and uh, Is that more like a gig what you like to do as opposed to... Uh, yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> you know, of course it's nice to do sophisticated, nice stuff also for... But, but yeah, we like this. We, I'd say that we like this more. It's, it's more sweat. It's more sweaty. Yeah, it's warmer and it's and it's clubbier and, and it's and you have people up dancing and 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 you, and you can be you can be you can do what you actually want to do on stage and you don't have to think about being sophisticated. <laughs> so how did Fork come about? How did you all get involved in it? Because it's wonderful now. You're hugely successful and everyone's raving about you. So where did it all start? I have to answer this. I'm a baby member. <laughs> I have been in this group for two and a half years or so. The, 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 the band, we started singing uh, in, uh, in 96. Uh, don't count the years. Uh, basically, we just we just started singing. We didn't know what a cappella is, and 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 that we were doing a cappella. We were just four four people wanting to wanting to do rock music, and and we didn't know any instruments, so we just started singing. And then 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 it just grew from there. And and, and uh, at some point we realized that there is something called a cappella. But by then we had already broken all the rules. So. Uh, so we kind of kept going in our own direction the whole time, and and, uh, and then 2004 we left our other professions and, and started doing this as full-time professionals, uh, and uh, and yeah, now we have a busy year, and it's yeah, it's living a dream. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's all because of the last year's fringe. We are traveling quite much in Europe, and we are going to Malaysia in October. Spent the whole month there, and then to the United States, and it's wonderful. Yeah. So you're all, you're all from Finland, and you're huge there. People rave about you there, and I was YouTubing, and everyone's hundreds of thousands of views, and everyone loves you. How do you find Edinburgh different from home or anywhere else in the world? Because a lot of people say there's more pressure here because there's so many shows and you just have to get as many people in as possible but there's a lot of shows to compete with. I, know, I don't think we really feel any pressure we, we, because we we feel we genuinely feel that we are so different so we don't we we really, we really don't have a competition in what we're doing this kind of stand-up rock club thing that we're doing uh, so um, yeah I, I I really don't think that we feel pressure we come yeah. here and do the thing that yeah, we, we that do. we want to do we, and and, and then love, and that should be enough yeah. we are having fun and people they are having fun so yeah. do you have a favorite song that you do or one that people enjoy the most that's always a hit with the crowd or is every song just amazing Everyone loves every yes. song. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. We we the all four of us we have very different uh, music tastes. So uh, so we all have our own favorites. Uh, but I'd say that uh, 
the um, audience favorite at the moment is uh, we have this dance mashup from I'd say it's last year, maybe last, the two last year, songs from the two last years. Um, and that seems to get the crowd going. Amazing. So your show's on every night, you can set at Sandbergers Square. Please tell the viewers of Waffle TV why they should come see your Please come, <laughs> we are spreading the love. I, I, I can promise you the world is going to be a better place after the show. It's, and that's a promise. If not, you can hunt me down. <laughs> Thank you very much. I've been Rebecca for Waffle TV. Stay tuned for more videos and interviews.